welcome back friends today video is going to write a unit test case for DA layer okay in the last two session we have implemented a unit test cases for controller layer and a service layer okay now we'll going to uh, write a J new test cases for DA layer okay let me This is our inventory application um, uh, DAV layer part, right? We have done uh, join it for control layer, product and service layer. Now, we, these are uh, time to write a JU test cases for DAV layer, okay? Mm -hmm. When you look at our DAV code, we are using a repository object, right? Repository object. Uh, this, repo this product repository is an interface that extends from JP repository and JP repository having some crude operation method. We are using those method to perform a crude operation against in our database. Okay, but when you uh, notice here, we have not written any uh, method. We have not written any method for DB operation. All method just we are use, reusing it. Whatever method implemented in JPA, that we are reusing it. Okay. Uh, what I am thinking is really we don't don't want to write a JNU test cases until if you write a your own um, DA work code. But here we are writing a JP repository method uh, method right for perform a crude operation. Uh, those methods done by JP folks right. We don't have to write a JNU test cases. Still, if you want to write a JNU for um, your repository class, we can write. Okay. Hmm? See, this is a JP repository test I have written. If you want to perform a, a J unit for your um, a JP repository, we have to annotate uh, that class with the data JPA test. Add data JPA test. Then here you, you need to auto wire which repository class you want to test. Here I want to um, test the product repository. Okay. Then here I have uh, defined uh, four different kind of product. Product one, product two, new product one, new product two. Okay. Then setup method. Setup method annotated with before each. Before each. What is the meaning of before each? Whenever um, uh, uh, test any test method, period to invoke that test method. First, this setup method will get invoked. Setup method will get invoked. Then it will do necessary operation initialize operation then our test case will execute okay that is the purpose of this particular method this uh, mostly this setup method for to preparing a data for testing our genuine test cases okay mm -hmm. this method name not necessary to keep setup okay we can name it as anything as you wish okay even you can name it as a init then start whatever you want whatever name you want you can uh, name it when you look at this method, here I am initializing two product object, product one and the product two object. Product one and the product two object, I am populating the data. Okay. Then here product repository dot save. I am saying product repository dot save. Whenever whenever you do dot save method, what will happen? It will uh, store in the database okay in the previous test cases service test cases and uh, control test cases we never connect to the database but here we are connecting to the database but we are not connecting with the real database um, what is my real database here Sorry. my real database is a uh, mysql okay mysql is this is a mysql path connection path is name and the password okay um, actually this inventory application connecting to mysql db okay but uh, when you do the test cases i don't want to connect with the real database i want to connect with test db test db okay if you want to work with test db we can use h2 in memory database we can use h2 in memory database okay whenever you add h2 library in your spring boot class path automatically your spring boot application configure your h2 in memory database for testing purpose okay all we have to do is open your palm.xml file and add this artifact that's it once you add this artifact what will happen automatically 
it will create a new database inside the database it will create a table inside that table it will insert the record or delete the record from the table and select the record from the table whatever test cases we are performing according to that test cases particular db operation will happen right, in the behind the scene okay we, we, you don't have to mention what is the db name what is the table everything taken care by your spring boot auto configuration okay so this magic happening through this particular annotation two things we need to do one the first step is we need to add that h2 uh, um, artifact second step is that that particular class must annotate that with at data jpa test that's it now i want to uh, write a test cases for product repository okay for that i defined four different product object here product one product two i have a populator i populated with the some dummy data then new product one equal to product repository dot save when you say save what will happen it will store the store them uh, data inside the h2 in memory database inside the h2 in memory database will create a one uh, database okay inside the database should will create a one table called product table inside that product table and um, it will store these two different row okay here i am calling two times right save save well, in, in this save i am passing product one in this save i am passing product two okay what will happen whenever save it will create a new record inside the product table and that new record returned in this new product one this new product one will contain a primary key here i am not here i never set the primary key right just i am setting other properties when uh, after successful save it return the new product object with the new primary key okay then here i am printing that value that's it so this code execute whenever you execute particular test cases okay now i'll going to execute this test case avoid add product test this test case is for testing adding a new product whenever say uh, whenever execute this particular test cases what will happen this particular method get invoke it populate the product one and add the product one store the product one and the product to the in memory database h2 in memory database then this method execute in this method i am checking if new product one new product is not null after successful save this product new product object populated here right i am checking that should not be a null product two also should not be a null then product one dot get name whatever name i'm populating here the product one is a apple product two is a orange right i want to i'm checking that name product one dot get name is equal to new product one dot get name okay if both are equal um both are equal uh, that meaning the product successfully inserted inside database okay because this is my populated object manually here after successful save that particular product populated here so i am checking both product name is um equal if it is equal this test case will get passed okay now i'll going to run this test case when you look at the console here please see here it's creating a embedded database that is in memory database this is a db url jdbc colon h2 colon mem dot this is a db name db name okay this is a db name successfully created then this is the db name successfully created here uh, where is that log so this is the db name okay db successfully created then inside the db it's creating a new table called product table create table product based on my project object based on my entity object product object it's creating a, a new table after creating a new table it is inserting the two record which i populated okay id description name two record okay inserted one inserted two this uh, sop i have given uh, system dot out dot printer like one is printing here okay then 
after inserting after inserting um, this method get execute right so whenever execute this method this code this sorry whenever execute this method this coding part this setup method the start method will execute insert the record then i am checking it is not null then i am checking the product name equal to new product one this test case is also passed see the test case is passed our product test case is passed okay similarly we can test all the method uh, like that okay here uh, get all product get all product i am saying uh, whenever run this product uh, run this method what will happen again this start method get in work first populating a two product object here i am populating two product object then i am saving that product object inside a database then after that this method get in work since i am executing this method this coding get ex execute here i am calling product repository find all this find all return all the product how many product i am adding only two product i am adding right the two product data assigned to products array list here i am checking assert that products list is not null that should not be a null that should not be a empty and the size must be two because i am adding only two product right the size must be two okay then in this product i am taking the get name using this products array list from the product array list i am taking the product name that equal to that equal to product name which i which i am populating here which i am populating that should be apple and orange right that that product name the, the new product one must have a sorry the the product one must have a apple and a orange product one must have apple product two must have apple the, these two test cases get passed using this assert that i am iterating the iterate iterating sorry using assert that method i am iterating the product list then i am checking whatever uh, product name available available that product name must match with the this product one dot get name product two dot get name must match right this must match because we are adding that product only okay so this test case get passed find by product by id test this method i want to check find by id method from the repository class okay now whenever execute this method very similarly this method get execute add the two products in the in memory database then i am i am using product repository find by id new product one dot get id new product one dot get id whatever data i am inserting that data the product data available here right new product one new product two okay I am using that object. I am taking a get ID. I am finding that uh, that particular product. If it is, if it is there, the product one, the P one object uh, must populate. I am new product two. I am taking the ID from the new product uh, from the new product two, and finding that particular product. If it is there, the data populate to P two. Now I am checking that P one P two not null. Then P one dot get name new product one dot get name must be equal. if this condition satisfied this test case must pass okay we will run this uh, two test cases i think i have not run this test test cases right um, i forgot to run we'll run this now find all product executing while execute before executing it will create a database and insert a data and we are retrieving all the product and then comparing that all the product And now test case is passed. Get all product test case is passed now. Okay. The next one is find product by ID test. Okay. Now I'll go and run this. Yeah. So this test case is also passed. Final method is delete by product ID. I want to test find delete product delete by ID method. 
from the JP repository. What I am doing here, whenever run this uh, particular test cases, the start method will start. Whatever uh, data, I uh, whatever code I, I implemented here, that code will execute. The, 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 this code is for populating a product one and product two uh, product two record in the X2 in memory database. After the populating, um, it will come to here. It will find the first product, find the second product, and after into P1, P2. Then I am deleting that particular product. Product repository delete by ID P1 dot get ID P1 dot P2 dot get ID. After successful deletion, again I am I am, I am uh, calling the find by ID new product one dot get ID. Yeah. So, uh, since I deleted already here, this definitely P1 P2 is null, right? Um, here I am checking the P1 must be null. If it is null, this test case is passed successfully. See here I am deleting the product. After deleting, I am finding with the same ID definitely this P1 P2 null if the record deleted successfully. Okay. So my expectation is the P1 P2 must be null because my, my expectation is I want to delete, I want to make sure that this P1 P2 is a null. If it is null, these two products deleted in the H2 in memory database. Okay. Yeah, that's it guys. Um, testing a DO layer. If you have any question, please write a question in the comment section. Definitely, I will give an answer. Okay. Hmm? In the next class, we are going to see how to implement code coverage. Code coverage. We are going to see what is code coverage, how to configure code, code coverage. Okay. Until then, bye bye from Fresh. Still not subscribe this channel. Please subscribe it. Share this video to your friend circle. Click bell icon for regular updates. Thanks for watching this full video.